guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a clothing haul for you or a fall clothing haul since most of the items I did pick up are for the fall or the winter time. I've just been shopping around the past week and the weekend and I picked up some really cute things so I figured I'd come on here and show you guys them. So to start off I did stop by Fashion to Figure which is a store that carries some regular size clothes and plus size clothing. So anybody could really shop there. I just like the fact that they had that range of sizes there. So I could try on something for a regular size or if I think I need something slightly bigger, I could try on one of the items from the plus size section. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Actually, I don't know why I put this in this bag because I think it was the only item that I got from Kohl's. Maybe that's why. And it's just a cute little mini mouse sweater. I'll back up over here so you guys can see it better. And you can just see Minnie's face, of course. She looks adorable, as always. And it's just like a cream or a beige colored sweater with her face on it. And I thought this would be adorable to pair with like a pair of leggings or anything for the winter or the fall time. And maybe some combat boots or anything really. You can wear this with a pair of jeans. You could wear this just relaxing or going out with your friends. I just thought it was really cute. And it says $30 on the tag here. But I'm pretty sure I only paid like $15 for it because I think it was on sale for half price. Oh, this was one of my favorite ones. Okay, so this came from Fashion to Figure also. And it's just, it's hard to show you guys. This little jacket, maybe if I fold it in half you can see better. And it just like flares out at the bottom. I, I kind of consider it a shirt because it's really thin. I'd actually wear it as a shirt. It unzips in the front and it has black leather on the sides so this is just really cute like I said it flares out at the bottom I love the zipper detailing in the front and I really enjoy the black leather on the sides that it has and I don't know I just find this really put together like it's really classy but also effortless to put on because it's just a basic shirt and you can pair this with a pair of black wedges or black heels and like dark washed or denim washed skinny jeans or even black leggings if you like. I think it's just a very versatile staple item that I'll be wearing a lot this fall. My last item from Fashion to Figure was this pair of studded leggings and they just have little studs and little spikes right over here. They're actually really cute and that's what it looks like close up. They even have some diamond ones, some bigger diamonds, some square studs and then the pokey um, spikes. So this would be really cute. This would probably be even really nice to pair along with that shirt or that jacket that I just showed you guys because I think that would make a really nice outfit. It would be really edgy but also really feminine so it would just look really cool I think. So, so it would just look really cool I think and I think I'm going to actually try that out. So the next store I picked some stuff up at was JCPenney and I just got this little Aztec printed cardigan and it just has some cool fringe at the bottom down here and it's kind of like a high-low cardigan it's higher in the front over here and shorter in the back over there and that's what I really liked about it I do like the Aztec print on it and the colors I'm very much into like light browns and tans and I like that it's mixed with white so it's a pop of color in my fall clothing the next thing I picked up from JCPenney was this oversized leopard print sweater and I like it because the little leopard dots inside have this cute like pale pink color almost. It's definitely not a white. So I like the mix of the colors between the charcoal gray on the background, the black cheetah print, and then the baby pink inside. It's also very soft. I'm very picky. I don't like those scratchy sweaters. And this one is just so cozy that you could fall asleep on it and cuddle with it all the time. And it kept me so warm. I've worn it once. And I just think it is amazing, especially paired with a pair of leggings because it is so oversized and comfortable that you'll look cute and put together, but you'll also feel like you're wearing pajamas, if that makes any sense, because I could sleep in this thing. I also got this cute little sleep shirt. It's just an oversized t-shirt, and it says Super 76 on it, and it has little stripes on the sides, so it's got that very sporty feel to it. And it's just oversized and it's this nice maroon dark red color that I like. It's got the stripes down here too. So it makes me feel like even when I go to bed or when I'm lounging around in my house, I can still look really cute but be comfortable. And it just has a deep cut V-line neck over here. So sometimes I put a little tank top underneath just so I'm all covered up over here. 
but I love this and it was clearance to $12 so I mean I couldn't pass it up for $12. So this next item was from Charlotte Russe and this has to be one of my favorite items that I did pick up. It's just this nice maroon skater dress and it has these cute little lacy off the shoulder sleeves. If you guys can see that lacy detailing on there, I mean, it's just amazing. And I did pick this up because I thought it was very classy and simple at the same time. I mean, this really made the dress, the sleeves being off the shoulder, that was my selling point. The dress was originally marked for $40. I like the little flared out bottom down here also. But I walked out with this dress for $19.99, so that was definitely a steal and I could wear this during the Christmas season or the holiday season or maybe even Valentine's Day because it is a nice red color. So it's such a versatile color and I mean Charlotte Rouge just has amazing dresses in my opinion. All year round they always have spring dresses that I love, fall dresses, winter clothes, winter dresses. The dresses fit all different size types in my opinion and they're just so comfortable and so chic that you can't pass them up. Okay, so now it's time to move on to shoes, and shoes are my favorite part. I am a big shopaholic when it comes to shoes. I have way more shoes than I'll probably ever wear in my entire life. But for some reason, I just feel that shoes make the outfit. So my first pair of shoes were from Sears. They're just these nice little boots. They're not in any brand. They're not Ugg by any means. They're not Beerpore or anything like that. But they did retail for $60 at Sears, and I feel that they're very good quality, and I love the fur inside. It keeps my feet nice and cozy, and I love the little buckle detailing on the side over here. So I just thought these were amazing, and as I said, they did retail for $60 at Sears. I got mine for free because I had some surprise points there or something, so I ended up getting three pairs of shoes for free from Sears, and I'm going to show you guys all three of those. But these are amazing if you're looking for some boots to keep you warm in the winter and the fall season. $60 and I'm sure they go on sale. I've seen them on sale for $40 before. And they are well worth the money. They are definitely sturdy. And they're not like those cheap, cheap ones that you buy for like $10. You know, you wear them and they're all squished in in the back over here and they look a mess. These ones are going to last you a while. So my other pair of boots that I have been loving, loving, loving for this fall season, I've already worn them a ton of times, are these nice riding boots. And these ones were also from Sears. I believe they retail for $60 or $70 as well. Like I said, I did get them for free. But what I love about this particular pair of riding boots is that they have them in a regular size. And they also have them made for people with wider calves. Which I like because I do tend to have wider calves. I have a lot of muscle down there also from doing cheerleading and dance my entire life when I was younger. So these ones fit me perfectly. They fit like a glove. My skinny jeans look great tucked into them. And my leggings look great as well. And they just have the nice zipper on the side and they have the nice buckle detailing right over here and they're the exact color that I wanted that dark brown it's just amazing it reminds me of fall this color just screams out fall time to me and I wear this these boots and I wear these boots all the time now with anything I can dress up a plain shirt and just put these boots on and I feel like a million bucks walking out the door I did get a second pair of riding boots, which I haven't even gotten the chance to wear yet, and they are just black riding boots. Once again, they have a really cool and unique zippering on the side. I like how it's got that design and it's not just straight down. They have some nice buckling on the sides over here, and they have some nice bucklings down by the sole of the boots. And once again, I just think these are amazing for retailing for about $50, and you can wear this with any outfit, any skinny jeans or leggings. They keep my legs extra warm, especially if I'm wearing them with leggings. And they just make any outfit look a million times better. And they just make any outfit look so much more dressed up and put together. And I've been looking for some good riding boots for a couple of years now. It's hard, especially for somebody with wider calves. So I was lucky enough to find these. So if anybody else has a similar problem, then just check out Sears because they do carry them in a wide range of sizes for people with smaller feet to people with bigger feet and people with smaller calves to people with larger calves. And then my last pair of shoes I got from Payless, and they're just these very cute black wedges. They're simple black wedges, which I like, they're that soft velvety material. They do have a little design up front over here, and I bought these specifically to go with that maroon dress that I got from Charlotte Russe. 
for the holiday season because they're very comfortable, but they're also very chic, so I don't feel like a child when I'm wearing the dress. I feel like I'm still in something with a slight heel, even though it's not large, but my feet will not kill me, and I won't be concentrating on when I get home and take my shoes off all day. I'll just be concentrated on having a good time with my family and friends. So, these shoes did retail for $29.99 at Payless Shoe Source. I forgot to mention that this black long sleeve shirt that I have on, it's just a simple black long sleeve t-shirt, but I thought it was really simple and really cute and I tied it together with this little scarf. But this shirt was also from Fashion to Figure and I think you could get four for $25 or something. I paid $8 for the shirt though. And they do have some really great clothes there and they're reasonably priced. So definitely check them out if you haven't stopped in Fashion to Figure before. So thank you guys so much for watching my video, and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're here. I'll be uploading new videos every Monday and Thursday, and leave any comments down below if you have any video suggestions. I love hearing from you guys, and I'd be happy to take suggestions and make videos that you guys request. Bye! Okay, so now I think it's... Okay, look, so much more dressy up, so much more dressed, Ugh. and then, so look, my kitty came to say hi, I guess, because she just hopped right up here, and, um, bye Daisy. Oh, I forgot to, oh, I forgot to, what is that noise? There's a really strange noise going on in my room, and I can't tell if it's coming from my camera, or maybe the heating. I'm not sure it's coming from that direction though, like from my camera over that way. So I don't know if it's this making a noise or if it's my heating. Or maybe it's my cat because she's walking around. Right now she's like on my window and walking on my stereo because she likes to get in trouble I guess. Because So thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you like this video at all or found it So thank you guys. Nope. Nope. Is this a tangle? I don't know what to do with these bangs. If I should leave them and let them grow out or if I should cut them. Let me know what you think down below. Should I cut my bangs? Should I make them shorter or should I leave them and let them grow out?